I just wanted to show you a little tutorial which will give you an idea of how to do a composite with nests. This is a um, nest I shot recently or shot with studio lights so it will work with images shot with flash or daylight. The image I'm going to be using is actually shot in daylight so I find generally speaking if you are using a flash lit template then either a daylight or a flash lit um, baby photo will work but if you're using a daylight template then sometimes a flash lit picture can be a little bit too contrasty and, um, and too sharp so just try and use similar lighting um, that was used on the template if you can so over here you can see that the lighting on the template and on the baby is coming from the left hand side. It was a big diffuse light source, soft box on the template and big windows on the baby with just a little bit of fill from a white reflector on the right hand side. So the first step that I'm going to take is I am going to grab the baby photo and pop it onto my template, close the baby photo down and let's expand this a little bit okay so the baby was shot specifically for the few templates that I have with red middles so when you actually look at the original picture the red is a little bit darker than the template but that's okay we can work with that so the first step is you need to reduce the opacity to roughly 50% so you can see what you are doing if you look on the top right hand side the bottom layer is your template the top layer is the baby photo and the first step is to position the baby over where it should be on the template below so if you go to edit transform and scale Hit the shift button, hold it down whilst you resize the baby. You want to do that because if you hold this button down it will keep the baby's proportions. If you don't do that then the whole picture will end up either too long or too short. It will basically make the baby all deformed which you really do not want. So, there we go. Perfect. Now I do like to keep the templates believable and um, those flowers were actually really big, um, probably about the size of a baby's head so over here I don't mind the baby being quite small because I know that that was the case but always be careful that you make templates believable. I'm actually going to make her a little bit bigger. You don't want her completely lost, we can always adjust afterwards. Um, I'm actually going to go to free transform and just slightly rotate her as well. I'm going to hit enter. Now if you increase the opacity to 100%, what I want you to do now is to grab a, go into the layer mask, so bottom right hand side, third icon from the left is your little layer mask icon, I'm hovering over it right now. If you hit Alt and click on the layer mask, what that will do is that will cover the image up. So for those of you that are starting um, with layers and haven't worked with layers for very long, think of it as three sheets of paper. The bottom sheet of paper is your template, then you have the photo of the ba baby laying on top, which is another sheet, and then you have a black piece of paper, which is your layer, covering up the baby. So what we need to do now is we need to reveal that baby but only the bits that we need. So we're going to grab a white paintbrush, keep it nice and soft for the time being, keep the opacity at 100%, make sure that the layer is selected, um, oh. that wasn't what I wanted to do at all so I have no idea what I did there but I'll cancel it. Okay, so make sure that the layer is selected, make sure you have the white brush and you're just going to paint over that layer and reveal the baby underneath. Now the main thing with composites is if you are able to retain the original shadows 
that will really, really help make it believable. So when you are shooting composites, always make sure that you're trying to shoot for the template. So if the template, you see there's, you know, red fluff in the middle, if you've got red fluff, use it. If you haven't, use something of a similar tone because you can always do a colour change. So don't go too light or too dark, select a mid-tone. Um, if you only have white fluff and then you try and put it into, you know, a red template, it's unlikely to work because you won't be able to take the shadows through and there's just no point stressing yourself out um, so just choose a different template or don't do the composite basically okay so I've painted in so let me switch this on and off so you can see what's actually going on yeah so I've painted the baby in so most of that red that was there originally has been covered up but it looks a little bit rough around the edges so I'm going to do a little bit of blending now so I'm going to switch to a black brush I'm going to take the opacity to about 70%. Again, this is not essential that you do it at 70%, but that's normally my first step. And I just go over the edges just to bring back anything that was on the original template that we might have covered up. Okay, and then I'm going to go to 50% and just blend a little bit more, just get a little bit closer. Be careful that you're not getting rid of too many shadows. All we really want to do is just make this colour blend gradually so it doesn't all look like it's just been plonked there. So it will lighten the shadows a little bit but not to the point of them disappearing. Okay, so let's have a look at this now. So before and after before and after. Now the shadows are actually really quite dark which is okay. Um, let's go even lower to like 17%. We could actually afford to lighten them a touch. Really what you want is you want the baby to look like they are sunk sunk in. So I originally photographed her in a, in a bowl on the fluff. Nice and simple. There we go, and that's looking good. Now if you wanted to, you can, you know, keep going. But the main thing is we don't want, we want all the transitions from light to dark tones to be really subtle, so it doesn't end up looking false. So, before and after. So that looks good to me. Um, I am actually going to just check a little bit closer to make sure that I haven't missed any bits, oops, like the head and the hair, which you want to keep in. Okay, and actually that little leaf, I'm going to make sure that it's in so it might actually look a little bit like it's going over the hair making it look more realistic okay so that's done the composite is done i will flatten the image and now you can apply whatever you want to apply however you finish your images um i like my images a little bit on the warm side so i would warm the baby skin up um, I'm possibly going to just go to screen mode, so I'm multiplying the layer and going to screen. I'm going to cover it up and then I'm going to grab the white paintbrush, reduce the opacity and just lighten everything around this area. The wrap and the shadows. But it's okay because I'm lightening the whole thing, so I'm not just lightening the fluff. There we go, so that looks good. And if I go to colour balance, for me to finish this off, I'm going to add a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow, and I'm going to also increase the saturation a little bit. Now, the saturation being increased on the flowers and the leaves is a little bit too much, but I think the baby skin needs it, so I'm going to increase it, then do edit fill with black, which will cover that correction that I just made, 
you look at the top right hand side and I'm just going to paint in the saturation increase at 100% just on the baby skin so it looks a little bit more lively and not completely overpowered by those reds I could actually do it on the wrap a little bit as well yeah that looks good okay and there we go and this is the finished article flatten the image and save it thank you for watching